All right, welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, my name is Marnie Hernandez and I am a uh, two-star uh, double platinum with the company. I've been with the company almost seven years. Love it. Um, single mom with four kids. Uh, was able to quit my full-time insurance job that I worked for 30 years in um, to do travel. I was able to fire my boss. So again, if I can do this, guys, you guys can do it. Um, just remember with our business, um, it is a business. You have to work it, okay? <clears throat> and you have to put the, put the time in. Um, I volunteered to do these trainings because, again, it's always good to learn, right? Stay constant learning. Um, and so the reason I do these certificates, okay, is for one thing, you're going to learn different knowledge about different destinations, different programs, different vendors, okay? Helps you to sell to your client, helps you to make it be a better travel agent. You have a client that's going to Alaska. You want to learn about Alaska right here. We did three part training on this YouTube right here, the training um, link, just like what we're doing today. Um, these are all located here on my YouTube channel. OK, I'll share that with you. Um, so besides getting the knowledge, learning about these destinations, learning, you know, how you can sell to your clients, um, <clears throat> a lot of times you also, well, you're going to meet a lot of new agents here because we got a lot of great agents from all over the, the company, okay? So you're not just dealing with somebody within your team. Now you've got, you know, a lot of people here, a lot of people that may have lived in these destinations or, or worked in these different fields, et cetera. So they share personal experiences too. So again, that's great. But also once you complete some of these trainings, a lot of times you'll get their promotional material. You'll get invited on webinars, lunch and learns, um, special promotions. How about a fam trip? I got invited to Sandals overnight in um, Jamaica, three free nights. Uh, California, once you visit, complete this California, you see there's a bunch here. Um, once you complete them, you get a free goodie bag in the mail, okay? So you never know. Some people have one luggage. Some people have one a backpack. Um, you get fam trips. So again, um, all these we've already done. The ones in yellow are ones we're doing this month. Um, these are probably ones that just got posted because I was a little late. Um, <clears throat> some of the main ones you want to get in and do. And guys, if you're just getting in here, um, this is the link to, um, oops, let me go back, uh, to get in and register, okay? If you haven't registered yet, it's very easy. Um, also, if you have a question or anything, make sure you put it to everyone, because a lot of times I'll be reading, and um, I won't be able to answer if you do it direct to me, okay? But that's the link to register, and then this is the link for the actual training today, okay? All right. Um, there we go. Uh, so again, um, some of the main ones that I highly, highly recommend that you guys get in and do, um, Jamaica. Jamaica is amazing right here. Um, one love, um, right here. You do this training guys, uh, they have so many promotions and stuff and you get a lot of people that want to go to Jamaica, the Caribbean, right? So Jamaica is one of the top ones. Um, uh, Marriott, is also one of the big ones. We're gonna be doing an update on that next uh, month right here. But Marriott, <clears throat> guys, as agents, we get fantastic rates. I was in Orlando or Miami, our flight got canceled. Because I did the training on Marriott, I got a trip for uh, regularly 175 a night in a suite. I got it for $70 a night or $71 a night. So Marriott is amazing. Um, another one, Princess. Guys, you want a free cruise? You get a free cruise with Princess. I just got back from 15 days on the um, Hawaiian cruise and I paid $220, just port taxes and fees. And with Princess, you get an automatic um, upgrade to Elite. I got free laundry, um, the captain's circle, got cocktails every night at five o'clock in the lounge. So definitely Princess and Canard. Disneyland, yes, Disneyland. Um, again, we have done Disney. All of them are right here, but we're doing brand new Disney. For anybody that has not completed Disney, we just started that last Sunday. So right here, part one. 
So guys, if you want to earn your free Disney passes, the cruise, the 35 to 50% off the cruises, adventures, et cetera, please join me on Sundays. Um, catch up. You have to finish part one first, and then we're going to be on part two on Sunday. Okay. So just wanted to kind of share those with you while we're waiting for people. Again, here's our calendar for this month. Um, you can always pre-register for any of these. We're doing Aruba, uh, Denmark, um, Poland, and Barbados. Okay. And then of course, Disney. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started. Is everybody ready? Um, here's the Disney ones. All right. One thing I want to tell you, if you're brand new, um, you have to make sure that, um, you know, follow along on your phone and, um, or, and take the test online or vice versa, um, or do a split screen. But you want to try to stay, you know, up with us. And then we all take the test together. So you don't want to go through this and then have to go back and take the test later. Do it now, because at the end, you get your certificate everybody's good and you now can post that certificate and let everybody know look i'm an australian specialist uh, actually australia is going to be a, a long one i guess so we also have it for friday also okay all right can everybody see my screen and hear me okay again we're in tbo academy very easy to register if you haven't registered yet please go in and register and then once you register go into our link queensland australia <clears throat> okay, so what I usually do, as you see here, it is a kind of long one. So I, I it's sometimes these may only take 15 minutes. Um, one of the ones, what do we just do? Where it was like, OMG, oh, the, the seven C's, Regent seven C's, we're up for two hours and we only got through one program and there's four. So you never know till we get in. Um, so again, this hopefully we can get done in two days. Maybe we'll get it done today. We don't know. Okay. All right, so um, <clears throat> Queensland, welcome to Queensland, your perfect next holiday destination. No better place than Queensland to ex experience the best of Australia's very special lifestyle. Queensland has plenty of sunshine, spectacular beaches, natural wonders, unique nature and wildlife. A holiday in Queensland is all about freedom, fun, and full of activity, active dates. All right, and most of you probably know this, but um, holiday in um, Europe and stuff is uh, considered a vacation, okay? When we talk about vacation, they call it a holiday, okay? So when you see holiday, it's not, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that. It's their vacation time, okay? All right. Um, okay, what else did I want to go over? Okay, so again, um, I'm going to read over some of these really quick, and then we'll get started. Again, um, if you're just registering, stay registering, get in. We will be there to help you, okay? And um, as long as you're in, keep listening. And then once we get to the test, we'll make sure everybody's ready and to take the test, okay? We don't leave anybody behind. All right, so these are the courses. We'll start on destination, but I wanna just read a couple of these to you really quick. All right, so how do I get to this page? Okay, thank you, Miguel. Again, that's why I make sure you do it to everybody, because as you see, we have amazing agents here. And as you guys know, I'm just an agent, just like everybody else. I'm nothing special, but we're here to help each other, okay? I don't like being in the camera. I don't like being on stage, anything like that, but it's changed my life. So I do do presentations. I do do the incentive voucher group. Hopefully you guys can join me on um, tomorrow. Uh, to learn how to use these incentive vouchers, okay? Um, it's open to the entire company and they're great ways to promote your business, okay? So this is actually on Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'll be posting that out there. I think this is it. Thir oh, no, that's December. But um, I'll be doing this where you can learn how to use these vouchers, okay? Are all the certificates on TBO or just some? Just some. If you look here, sometimes we... <clears throat> all the different like here one source is under you know the, for the cruise but if you look here at the top here's a lot of the training and you guys can do these trainings on your own so um but there's destination ott travel agent academy travel agent university tbo california go ccl one source and so on and there's my youtube channel okay so again, when we do the, the, when I send it out to everybody, I usually will tell you, you know, here's the link for it. Okay. And then that way you can see, um, 
you know, and register. And once you're registered, then you'll be able to get in and, um, you know, you don't have to re-register each time. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right. So again, as I, um, you know, when I post these, I'll go ahead and put the link and everything in here. Um, okay. So to help you guys, like right here, uh, Queensland. So I'm like, please join me. Here's the link and here's the Zoom number. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the currency in Australia, local currency is called, and again, this is probably a test question. Um, the Australian dollar, AUD, most credit cards are accepted in the U.S. Um, most safe uh, to carry are Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. All right, passports and visas. Australian visa for most country needs to be applied in advance. The passport of the applicant must be valid for at least six months beyond the intended date of stay. For more information, visit here. So that's another big thing as travel agents, guys, you need to remember, um, they may have their passport, but if they're going overseas, a lot of times they require it to be at least, you know, three months, six months prior or after, you know, it can't expire the next week, okay? Um, all right, the link for today is right here. Again, make sure you guys um, get in and pre-register and be ready because that's like I said, right here. I sent it out in all the chat groups last night. Um, no worries, no worries. Just again, take your time signing in. It's very easy to get registered. And um, if you need help, just ask. Again, fill out only what's required and make sure anytime you're registering, you always put Archer travel. Archer travel is the travel side of the business. Okay. So just remember that. Okay. All right. You didn't miss anything yet. We're just getting started. Uh, again, we have some people still registering. I'm just reading a few things right now. Um, but yeah, just always put Archer travel um, as the agency. Okay. And then your information um, for agent. Okay. You want to put your address because if you win something, you want to go into you and not Archer, right? Okay. <clears throat> so the passports, like I said, make sure they're, you know, check with where they're going and make sure their passport has enough time on it because you don't want them to get over there and be stuck, right? All right. Um, so again, to, to pre-register, um, right here is the link. Copy. Thank you, Christina. Perfect. Okay. All right, again, if you're just registering, just keep your ears open. We're, we're just reading right now. And by the time we get to the test, you should be ready to go. All right, do they have Wi-Fi connectivity? Although there are multiple free Wi-Fi hotspots throughout, one may not find the speed to be very appropriate. SIM one can buy a 3G SIM card with prepaid data for the airport, at the airport, or various mobile stores in town. You have plug point, type one plug with an adapter with a 2V shape, flat pins is required. One can carry a converter as well, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then climate and clothing, what's the weather like there? Well, Queensland is renowned for its beautiful temperatures all year round. In summer, lightweight clothing is recommended with a thin sweater jacket for evenings when it can be cooler. And then here's reviews of you know, what they took. Correct answers should be given to enhance our knowledge. It's worth spending this module, got valuable information, et cetera. Okay, so again, if you're just registering, we're doing Queensland, Australia, we have, um, six courses we've got to complete okay that's why we're doing it today and friday again you guys can do these on your own but they're fun to do together because we help each other answer the test etc okay so we're going to start here destination queensland all right so um again we talked about these already the passports of currency so we're going to start the course destination queensland welcome to queensland perfect next holiday destination no better place um, then Queensland to experience the best of Australia's very special lifestyle. Queensland has plenty of sunshine, spectacular beaches, natural wonders, unique nature and wildlife. Holiday in Queensland is all about freedom, fun and full active days. So let's hit start the course. And here we go. All right. <clears throat> Whenever it says um, agency is where you're going to put Archer Travel. So again, I, I registered a long time ago. Uh, so if somebody just registered, you know, let her know. Um, 
where to put art for travel. Also right here, you know, when I showed you on my thing, the itineraries right here, you can save all slides or just this slide. So you click here, it'll save this, this training that we're doing. So you don't have to take, like I always would take screenshots. Well, now it'll save it for you under your profile. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Again, if you're new, I'm just going to read. Sometimes there's videos. And then at the end, we all take a test together. Okay. All right, so welcome to Queensland, your perfect next holiday destination. No better place than Queensland to experience the best of Australia's very special lifestyle. Queensland has plenty of sunshine, spectacular beaches, natural wonders, and unique nature and wildlife. A holiday in Queensland is all about freedom, fun, and full active days. Um, <clears throat> home to uh, five World Heritage listed sites, including the Great Barrier Reef and Dane Tree Forest, more than 1,000 national parks, 1,050 continental islands and sand caves, stunning beaches, coastlines, and surf breaks. Three of the world's largest sand islands in the world, includes, including Fraser Island, unique nature and wildlife, vast outback, ancient rainforest, world-class events, immersive indigenous experiences, abundant flavors, local produce, and freshest seafood and year-round outdoor lifestyle. Queensland is the ideal destination to explore the best of Australia. All right, with the plethora of experiences available for different kinds of travelers, Queensland is nearly five times, five times the size of Japan seven times the size of Great Britain, and two and a half times the size of Texas. All right, that may be a test question, so just keep that in mind. So it's pretty big, right? All right, <clears throat> what's the weather and best time to visit? Again, lots of times these are test questions. Queensland's blessed with an, an inviolable climate of warm, sunny days. Warm summers, December to January, and mild winters, June through August, okay? So the summers are December to January, opposite what we are, okay? Um, <clears throat> where summers, December to January, are warm. Winters are mild, June to August, and fall, which is March through May, and spring, September to November, offer the very best climates, okay? Tropical in the north, where the wet season throughout the summer can be quite humid and hot, while the dry season throughout winter is quite dry and mild. The best time to visit Queensland is between April to November, where the climate is pleasant and favorable to carry out all the activities and Sunshine State has to offer. If you don't mind warm tropical rain, you can visit Queensland all year round, okay? <clears throat> Annual average temperatures, Carnes and Arley Beach, 22 to 29 degrees Celsius. Brisbane is 18 to 25 degrees, okay? All right, no matter which season you travel, it always gets light early and dark early too. In December, the days are the longest. Sunshine around, or sunrise around 4.50 and sunset around 18.45, which is 6.45. In June, the days are the shortest. Sunrise 635, sunset 5 o'clock or 1700 applies to Brisbane. Okay. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. The dates are the, the times of, you know, um, uh, uh, winter and summer. Again, click for all slides. All right. So useful information. Again, talking about passports, languages, et cetera. You'll need a current passport valid for longer than your period of stay for your visit in Australia. Visas are required by all visitors except Australian and New Zealand passport holders. Visit the Department of Immigration and Citizenship for more information regarding visas, okay? When it has a link like this, you can click there. It'll take you into that link for more info. Language English is predominant in Australia. However, as most culturally diverse nation on earth, most languages are spoken. Multilingual personnel and telephone interpreting services are available. All right, currency. <clears throat> the Australian dollar, AUD, and credit cards are accepted almost everywhere. Time zone, Queensland follows Eastern Standard Time throughout the year. Unlike Australia's Southern states, 
Queensland does not have daylight savings during summer. Be careful to check the time if traveling to and from another state from Australia. Electricity, the adapter 2V shaped flat pins are required. It is called a type one plug. Voltage is 240 volt. A current transformer is not needed. Health vaccinations are not required. Self-guided travel, all motor home providers are located in Brisbane and Carnes. Rental car locations can be found all over the country. It is advisable to carry an international driver's license. <clears throat> and then Wi-Fi, many places offer free Wi-Fi. Mobile phone reception is available along the coast and in parts of the hinterland. Some islands and places in the outback have very limited reception, okay? All right. <clears throat> now by air, Queensland has two major international airports. You have Brisbane, Brisbane and Carnes. All long haul flights arrive at the international terminal. From the adjacent domestic terminals, there are many nonstop connections to all destinations within Queensland and many cities in Australia. Uh, the capital city, so then, the capital city um, of Queensland, Brisbane. Okay, so what's the capital? Brisbane, right? Is located 1,200 kilometers north of Sydney. A short 90 minute flight. Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast is an hour long drive from Brisbane and is well connected by road. City of Tropical Carnes, 1,700 kilometers to the north, uh, is two hours flying time. Again, that could be a test question. Both Brisbane Airport from the city and Carnes Airport are well located within easy reach. Uh, Gold Coast, Brisbane and Carnes host world-class airport services to all popular Queensland destinations, as well as overseas air connectivity. Most long haul flights land at Brisbane International Airport. These are airlines that fly from India to Queensland. You have Singapore, Malaysia, Cathay, uh, Pacific Thai Airways, Air Asia, uh, Scoot, and then Emirates and Etihad uh, Airways. Okay. All right, self drive. So if you're not keen on flying short distances and want to explore Queensland at your own pace, hire a car, drive your way through some of the most beautiful roads surrounded by pristine beaches and breathtaking views. It's easy to get around and higher companies are plentiful. Whether it's a car, four-wheel drive, motorhome, motorbike, make sure you slip off the main road for a memorable road trip, okay? Check Australian road rules, driving safety tips before you go by visiting. So again, here, more information regarding road trips, running a car, et cetera, okay? Recommended self-drives, Carnes to Port Douglas, Brisbane to Lamington National Park, Brisbane to Gold Coast, Brisbane to Sun or Shine Coast, and then the Great Beach Drive. So those are options for self-driving yourself. <clears throat> How about taking the train? Another way to take in the beauty of Queensland and experience uh, a tinge of local culture is to travel by Queensland's rail network. Also, guys, remember with, with Archer, please, please, please make sure you save their address, their phone number, the cruise line phone number, the IATA number. Put that in your phone, on your computer. You're going to need that every day when you're registering with vendors, making a booking, filling out your commission form, okay? All right. Um, so Queensland Rail Travel Train offers a selection of classic train journeys. Travel between Brisbane and Carnes on the high-speed tilt train. Enjoy Queenslander class aboard the Sunlander. Recently voted one of the top 25 rail journeys in the world or board the spirit of the outback to Queensland's outback. Again, there's the link there. And thank you so much, Christina, for helping. Um, trains operate on the following routes. So you have Brisbane to Carnes, Carnes to Caranda, Brisbane to Longreach, Brisbane to Rockhampton, Brisbane to Charlesville, Townsville to Mount Isa, and Normanton to Croydon. Okay, so again, options for your clients. How about cruising? Whether you're keen sailor or looking to spend some romantic quality time with your loved one as you sail into the sunset or simply in the awe of spotting some amazing whales, the cruise and sailing options in Queensland will make your feathers fly. 
So recommended cruises. You have Cruise Whip Sundays, Sun Lover by Starlet, Brisbane Cruises, Surfers Paradise, River Cruises, Whale Song Cruises, Whale Watching in Harvey Bay, and Sunset Yacht Cruises with Crystal Blue Yacht Charters. <clears throat> Sounds amazing, huh, guys? Love to do that. How about coaches? Relax in the air conditioning comfort while you travel through Queensland terrain and coaches. Buses reach the furthest corners of the state, so are perfect for reaching many destinations. This option is also best suited if you're traveling in groups and large numbers, okay? So think about using a bus if you're going with a group or booking a group. All right. Now here, I suggest like saving this for, you know, when you post your certificate about all the amazing things that they can do and see in Queensland. You have the Great Barrier Reef, the only natural wonder visible by space, tropical islands, some of the world-class resorts, others completely secluded, filled with loads of marine activities and adventure sports, ancient Daintree rainforest, the oldest in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage listed site, okay? So what's the oldest uh, forest in the world, heritage site, Dane Tree Rainforest. You have whale watching in Queensland, a must do if you're visiting a sunshine state between July to November, whether you're watching humpback whales on their migration break at Herbie Bay or the dwarf meat whales swimming on the Great Barrier Reef, Queensland is a perfect place to have a premium whale watching experience and is the capital of whale watching in Australia. Spectacular surfing, beaches with crystal clear water and white sands. Take the ride of your life at world-class theme park, cuddle a koala or pat a kangaroo at one of the wildlife parks. Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island. Our vast outback with its unforgettable starry skies and friendly local people. Immerse yourself in rich culture and history by experiencing in indigenous Australian culture on your next Queensland holiday. See contemporary indigenous pieces of museums like Quagoma in Brisbane, the Carnes Regional Art Gallery in tropical North Queensland, or learn to spear hunt in the mangroves of Cape Tribulation and gather the freshest seafood grub in tropical North Queensland. Add our unique adventure experiences year round, sporting and cultural events, world class accommodations, uh, spa retreats, and you've got the perfect holiday spot. Queensland is where you'll feel comfortable or feel welcome and alive. It's also where Australia shines. You'll shine too from the moment you arrive. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. Now probably sample of itineraries. All right, so recommended activities. Again, um, recommended length, minimum of five nights, okay? All right, so if you have little people to consider in your holiday vacation planning, you'll come to the right place. <laughs> How cute. Queensland is king for family-friendly holidays from learning to surf and theme parks to hands-on animal encounters and getting busy at museums. Uh, your kids will have a fab time in the Sunshine State, and we're pretty sure you will too. Gold Coast, land of the theme parks, mini golf, kids club, plenty of sweet spots to learn to surf like Surfer's Paradise and Kulagada. Swap your beachy backdrop for lush green rainforest in the Gold Coast hinterland. There's loads of walks of waterfalls to tick off your list. Meet loads of Australia's favorite birds and wildlife at Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary. Brisbane, sneakily educate your youngins at one of awesome kid-friendly exhibi exhibitions at a museum or gallery, or, or meet and meet some cute Australian animals at Lone Pine. Brisbane has loads of outdoorsy activities for families like kayaking, rock climbing, segways to keep your cool head to Stradbroke or Moreton Island or the South Bank Pool. Sunshine Coast, swim at kid-friendly beaches like Bullcock Beach at Col Colondra, where you'll find sweet ice cream spots to enjoy after dip. Find a short walk around Noosa National Park. Keep an eye out for koalas. Make sure you have enough time and energy to nail Australia Zoo. Southern Queensland country, feed cows, chicken, pigs, and other cuties at a farm stay or road trip around the region in search of water holes and waterfalls. After all that, you'll be famished, so head to Stromcorp for some fresh fruit picking and eatings. Again, guys, when we're done with this, we're going to be taking a test, so hopefully everybody's ready. 
<clears throat> okay, Outback, Queensland, dig for dinosaurs, beat a bilby, stargaze at the Cosmos Center, climb Big Red near Birdsville, check out country life on a farm state or learn more about our heritage. Fraser Coast, meet the migrating humpback whales from June to November each year. The kids will love seeing these impressive mammals for the first time in Queensland. Fraser Island is also popular for kids of all ages with day tours and camping on the island. There's even a junior eco ranger program at Kingfisher Bay Resort with bush and beach walks, stargazing and campfire fun. Grab your reel and rod and teach the kids to fish off the piers in Hervey Bay or the beach at Burham um, Heads. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bundaberg, two glorious words, ice cream. Check out two of Queensland's best spots to get dairy down um, Mamino's and Nana's Pantry. Also, see the circle of life in full swing from November to February on Mon Repo's turtle experience. The mums lay their eggs from November and the baby turtles rise from the sand and race for the sea from January. It's totally awesome. That's cute, right? It's a totally awesome. <laughs> All right, Gladstone, snorkel right off the beach at Heron Island or get off the grid and nigh all the way on horseback at Crumpet uh, Tops National Park. Capricorn, let the kids go batty at the Capricorn Caves. If you need some serious family time, take an island escape and head to Great Keppel Island. McKay, take a day trip and head to Ungala National Park to meet platypus. Best times to spot these cute furry critters is at dawn and dusk. They play bingo at the Emeo pub during the day. Go all Tarzan and fly through the forest at Finch Haunton Gorge. For early birds, head to Cape Hillsborough National Park at sunrise. Get face to face with wallabies and kangaroos. I don't know if you guys watch like YouTube things and stuff, but those kangaroos can be awful vicious. <laughs> One was attacking a dog and then the guy came and started fighting with him. Anyway, all right. <clears throat> with Sundays. Uh, Island Resort uh, Kids Club and Reef Ranger Program, super fun. Plus, there's loads of snorkeling straight off the beach. The Witch Sundays is the perfect place to learn to sail. And if your kids like big things, uh, you'll have to get a family pick with a big mango in Bowen. The Arley Beach Lagoon is a cool spot when things get a little steamy. How about Townsville, North Queensland? Reef HQ is the world's largest living coral reef aquarium and is a fab place to learn about the Great Barrier Reef. Don't miss the Turtle Hospital. You'll find great playgrounds and gelato options along the strand. For koala encounters in the wild, jump on the ferry to Magnetic Island, okay? So for those koala lovers, right? All right, Tropical North Queensland. If your kids are keen to try to find Nemo at the Great Barrier Reef, Stay on Green Island or take a day trip to the reef and snorkel or learn to dive. You have to be eight years, okay? That's a question, probably a question for a paddy bubble maker experience. So eight years to snorkel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Swim closer to the home at Carnes Lagoon, north of Carnes. The family can learn to throw a boomerang, play the didgeridoo, and collect bush tucker or explore the lush bushland waterfalls, rainforest on the back of a horse or on board a quad bike. There's also the Carnes Tropical Zoo, Wildlife Habitat, Caranda Sky Rail, and tropical treats to be tasted in the Atherton Tablins. Woo! All right, let's go ahead and take the quiz, guys. Now, again, I just want to warn everybody, sometimes the questions may be out of order, so don't freak out. Say, no, I don't have that. It's probably down below. Also, you know, don't say number one or number two, because sometimes the, the answers are out of order also, okay? All right, so again, we'll make sure everybody passes. Um, if somebody can also put the answers in, that would be great. So Queensland has which of the three, which of these World Heritage Sites? Great Barrier Reef, Daintree Forest, Fraser Island, or all of the above? I think Daintree Forest, or unless it's all of the above. What do you guys think? All of the above or Daintree Forest? Are they the I mean, I Two think it's all the above answers. because the, the Dane Tree Forest is the oldest one. It's not asking which is the oldest. If it was saying oldest, it would be that, but I think it's all of them. Okay. All right. The magical Great Barrier Reef only natural wonder visible by straight space. That is true, right? <clears throat> which are the two major international airports to, uh, to enter Queensland? 
ba, ba, ba. was it Cardins in Brisbane? Anthony. Anthony. Cardins in Brisbane. Cardins to Brisbane, yep. What is it, Cardins to Brisbane? This one? Cardins in Brisbane. Yeah. Cardins in mm -hmm. Brisbane. Perfect, thank you. If you want to explore Queensland at your own pace, hire a car, drive through some of the most beautiful roads surrounded by pristine, breathtaking, which is the most recommended self-drive route from cars? Hmm, I don't know that one. <clears throat> it's the most recommended. Carnes to Port, Carnes to Sydney, Carnes to Brisbane, or Carnes to Melbourne? Carnes to Port Douglas. All right, thank you. And which of these was recently voted one of the top 25 rail journeys in the world? Tilt Train, Spirit of Outback, Queen's Lender, Class Aboard the Sunlander, or none of the above? <clears throat> okay, Keisha is saying tilt train. All right, let's try that. All right, so let's check it out. So we've got all of the above. We've got true for the Greer Reef, um, airports, Carnes and Brisbane, um, most scenic route, Carnes to Port Douglas, and then the 25 rail journeys is the tilt train. Oh, four out of five. Okay, so we missed one. All yeah. right, but we still passed, okay? So, Manny, I don't have any of those questions. Okay, so again, if you don't have those questions, let me know and we can go through your questions, but make sure you're on the same test as us, okay? So again, congratulations for those that passed. You can you know, move on with us if you want or you know, jump off, it's up to you. I would go and finish these courses with us. All right, for those that didn't have those questions, which questions do you have? And we'll help you with them. So is Australia a country or continent? And are you, are you on our, are you on um, the Queensland? Look to your left or whatever. What, what training are you on up top? Because did you go into one of these other ones? Yes. Did. Yes, that's what I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we haven't gotten there yet. So um, I would go back to the first one and try first to one. do those answers, or you can do those later. But we just put all those answers in there. All right. Okay. And then oh, we're okay. Start now on Carnes and Great Barrier Reef. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everybody ready? Again, you can download your certificate. I think they also um, email it to you. So again, congratulations, everybody. So we're gonna go with Carnes and the Great Barrier Reef. So you're just gonna click that. Okay, so again, Carnes Bar Great Barrier Reef, Tropical North Queensland, Port Douglas, Carnes and Great Barrier Reef destination. I'll put a tick on your bucket list with not one, but two World Heritage sites, okay? So again, in Carnes, the Great Barrier Reef and Dan Tree Forest are two World Heritage Sites. Start this course. Everybody ready? Say, let's go. Okay, everybody good? Sorry. Sorry, I just, I have somebody that kept bugging me, bugging me, bugging me for a quote. I gave her a couple quotes and stuff and now she's going with somebody else. So it's like, that's fine. But don't, again, they waste your time. And then it's like, why did you sit there and keep bugging me? And, you know, and then you just shop around with others. So anyway, hold on with Courtney now. Um, so I'll close my file. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to finish this room. Okay. All right, let's get started. The region, Carnes, destination that will put a tick on your bucket list with not one, but two World Heritage Sites. You have the Great Barrier Reef and Daintree Forest. This adventure capital of Australia is an untouched beauty full of ancient culture and adventure. 
Um, <clears throat> snorkel, dive, or join a live aboard the shore, share eh, aboard to, to and share the water with curious mink whales and sea turtles. Zipline to the ancient beauty of Dan Tree Rainforest and meet the local tree kangaroos or elusive cassowary. With thousands of years of history in the making, if you're seeking a real connection to the land, you'll find it in the stories, the smiles, and the history of the indigenous Australians who share their culture with you. Stand in the world's oldest open air gallery at an indigenous rock art site or learn traditional painting and hunting skills. There's no better way to immerse yourself in one of the world's most cultural rich heritage places. While in Carnes, don't miss out on Palm Cove or Port Douglas. They are the main ports of calls and your holiday to Queensland will be complete, um, will be incomplete without a chill in the palm um, trees. Okay. Um, here, I'll put the link here. If you click on this link, it should be, you should be able to get to where we're at, okay? So let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'm on my, I'm on my certificate training right now. So um, I'll close my file with her. Okay, there we go. Okay, next. So Great Barrier Reef, something on my bucket list, right? Experience the incredible underwater world of the world's largest coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef. Um, it is the world's largest and longest coral reef system, stretching for uh, 2,300 kilometers from the tip of Cape York in the north to Bundaberg in the south, comprising 3,000 separate reefs and some 900 continental islands and coral caves. It's one of the world's great natural wonders, home to over 1,500 species of fish, abundant marine life, and over 200 types of birds. It's also one of the Australia's greatest conservation successes, a world heritage area since 1981. The world's first reef ecosystem to be recognized by UNESCO. It is highly protected and one of the best managed marine areas on earth. These adventures are offered in Carnes, Port Douglas, Cape Tribulation, etc. Besides snorkeling and dives, this marvelous wonder also gives you a chance to swim alongside dwarf mink whales or get a bird's eye view and explore this natural wonder by helicopter or seaplane. You also have the world's oldest tropical rainforest. Uncover the ancient secrets mm -hmm. of the World mm -hmm. Heritage um, listed wet tropics rainforest. <clears throat> Pack your hiking boots, explore the picturesque walking trails and spectacular lookouts on foot in Mossman Gorge, zip line through tree chops of an exhilarating jungle, a uh, surfing tour in the Dantree rainforest or take the scenic 7.5 kilometer journey through the rainforest canopy on the Sky Rail Rainforest Cableway. Tropical lifestyle. Tropical North Queensland laid back lifestyle and colorful characters are all a part of its easy going charm. Join locals for a schooner or two at a microbrewery, taste the wares of artisan chocolate and cheese makers, or watch the sunrise over the coral sea as you breakfast on fresh local produce. Immerse yourself in the local culture through indigenous art, festivals, epic sporting events, and live musical performances. A taste of history, immerse yourself in the magic and history of Paranella Park, wander the winding rainforest paths, explore the ruins of the Spanish Castillo and hand feed the turtles in Mena Creek. You have adventures. So adventures is in the region's DNA. Again, guys, up here, add to itinerary. You can click here to save all the slides. Um, untouched landscape of the carnage to the coral caves of the Great Barrier Reef. Dive, am dive among shimmering shoals of tropical fish on the Great Barrier Reef. Brave whitewater rapids or skydive over the Dan Tree jungle. Reef sleep. Spend the night in the middle of the ocean or sun lover by starlight's overnight glamping experience. Float off to sleep on a pontoon at the heart of the reef, then wake to an incredible ocean sunrise. Skydiving. Skydive Australia boasts worldwide recognition for its high standards of safety and custom satisfi satisfi satisfaction. <laughs> Sorry. Skydive Australia has 18 premium drop zones Australia wide. 
AJ Hackett bungee jumping. Experience the world's most amazing adventure playground nestled in the World Heritage listed rainforest overlooking the Great Barrier Reef. Carnes Bun Bungee Tower, the one and only Bungee in Australia, has a jump menu offering 16 different jump styles from original swan dive all the way to riding a BMX bike off the roof. Wow. So get your adventures, guys, and share that experience, right? How about local produce? Get a taste of local produce. Discover the abundant flavors of the tropics through the Ash Atherton Tableland region. Get your caffeine fix at a coffee plantation. Sample the wares of local chocolatiers and cheesemakers or pick exotic fruit fresh from the orchid. Um, raise a glass at a wine distillery or wet your whistle at one of the region's growing number of microbreweries. Self-driving <clears throat> to Carnes to Port Douglas, okay? The dreamy resort town of Port Douglas is a popular spot for locals and visiting foodies. Spend a day in the green surrounds of Mossman Gorge and swim in the many sheltered water holes. In September, celebrate the flavors of tropical North Queensland alongside celebrity chefs and local producers at the annual Taste Festival. Port Douglas is a one hour drive north from Carnes. Hire a car and drive through the scenic coastal route. Stop by Rex Lookout for some beautiful panoramic views on the way to Port Douglas. Next stop at Hartley's Crocodile Adventures, the best place to see crocodiles and local wildlife in the north. Visitors can see an array of wildlife, including beautiful tropical birds, wallabies, reptiles, and other native fauna. Enjoy their entertaining and educational wildlife presentation. How about taking a boat cruise on Hartley's Lagoon to see crocodiles and other wildlife? And then Lizard Island, Great Barrier Reef, laid back luxury. Imagine a place where you wake up at the sound of the ocean laughing at the shore of your private beach and underwater world of the Great Barrier Reef, which lies just meters from you, from your beachfront villa. Say hello to Lizard Island, the only resort located on a 1,013 hectare national park, literally on the Great Barrier Reef. Arrive at Lizard Island via an hour-long scenic flight from Carnes, flying over 200-kilometer expanse of the Great Barrier Reef with only 40 rooms and villas, 24 private beaches. Escape to your very own private beach for a day exploring the reef, taking in an incredible nature around you. Wow, that would be very romantic, huh, guys? All right, or if you have bratty kids. No, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I had four of them. All right, where else but Queensland can you relax in a hammock on the deck of a private rainforest treehouse while the river rushes far beneath you and the tropical bird song fills the air? Silky Oaks Lodge in the middle of the World Heritage listed Daintree Rainforest, one hour and 20 minutes from Carnes is the ultimate place to switch off from the rest of the world and reconnect with nature. Explore the Mossman River by canoe, go horse riding, along ancient rainfor rainforest trails, or just sit back and enjoy the lodge's spectacular treetop views. Okay, <clears throat> let me get that one, and now this one. Why does it keep going back? Okay, let me try this. All right, Atherton Tablelands, Tablelands Food, Wine, and Rainforest Tour. The Atherton Tablelands is a short 45 minute drive inland from Carnes within a fertile plateau of the Great Dividing Range. Tackle the Atherton Forest Mountain Bike Park or join a guided road cycling tour. Or feel the ancient magic of the 10,000 year old volcanic crater lakes, Barren and Itchum, and the sprawling, um, and the sprawling. Follow the World Heritage Wet Tropics Waterfall Circuit of Mila Mila, Zili and Elenja Falls, spotting Ulysses butterflies and platypus along the way. Here, all you need to know about the five best waterfalls in the Atherton Tablelands, Yungaburra, Cur Curtain Fig Tree, from tropical fruit to tea and macadamia nuts, visit the many farm gates to sample homegrown produce, starting with the caffeine, um, hit at Australia's oldest coffee plantation. You can even prepare a platter of local um, biodynamic cheeses.
topped with raw honeycomb straight from the beehive, wash it down with a local liqueur. All right, how do I get there? Okay, so best ways to get your client there, air, flying to Carnes International or domestic airports, two hours and five minutes from Brisbane. Carnes is located a 19 hour drive north of Brisbane, seven kilometer drive from Carnes. There are remote airports throughout tropical North Queensland for when you're traveling into smaller towns and regions. You have the railway, Queensland's rail, Sunlander and tilt train link Carnes to coastal towns along the Queensland coastline from Brisbane. And there's a link that will help you to book those trains. Transfers, Greyhound bus service connect with other regional Queensland and interstate centers. Transfer options include car, Higher taxis and limousine services are available. Plus the local Sun Bus car service, you can also book a shuttle bus or Uber from the airport to your accommodation. Find accredited door-to-door -door airport shuttle service to hotels, city center, and the northern beaches, including Palm Cove, Port Douglas, Cape Tribulation, and South to Mission Beach. Water, heading across to Greenland, uh, Fitzroy Island, or Great Barrier Reef. Ferry, or did I see Green Island? Okay, ferry transfers and tours operate from the Carnes and Port Douglas Marinas. And then last, the road. Tropical North Queensland includes a lot of hot places to visit like Cape Tribulation, Port Douglas, and Mission Beach. If you're planning to see as much as possible in your own time, car hire is the way to go. If you are planning something must more remote, like a road trip to Cape York, make sure you hire a four-wheel drive or other appropriate transportation, okay? All right, um, accommodations. Options in tropical North Queensland range from quiet beachfront resorts in Port Douglas and Palm Cove and full service hotels in the heart of the action in Carnes to easygoing family camping spots and caravan parks ready to entertain the kids. Carnes Hotel and Resorts choose from a variety of three, four, and five-star hotels in Carnes, scattered from the Esplanade and up to Palm Cove, Port Douglas, and Cape Tribulation. You have apartments and holiday homes. Looking for something uh, with more of a home feel? Rent an entire apartment or holiday home to cater to large groups and traveling families. And then uh, motels and backpackers. If you're traveling on a budget, check out the range of motels and backpacker options in Carnes. With such a laid back lifestyle, you'll be able to sort accommodation, be chilling along the Esplanade in no time. All right, and then here's sample itineraries, three nights and two days. Okay, three nights in Carnes, two days, Port Douglas. So day one, visit the picturesque again, save for all slides, samples of itineraries, um, visit the picturesque mountain retreat, afternoon, the aquarium, you get to see all the habitats, um, rainforest, Great Berry Reef, scuba dive, um, <clears throat> Karanda Village is a vibrant little town, um, World Heritage Rainforest, visit the Koala Gardens, the Butterfly Fly Sanctuary, the market. Uh, take the sky rail and then experience the Aboriginal culture, food, medicine, sport, dancing, etc. Day two, take a hot air balloon ride. Get um, dropped off at the Reef Fleet Terminal, head out on a day trip to the Barrier Reef or visit the Outdoor Barrier Reef Experience Lifetime. Uh, on take a visit the reef on cruise for a visit to Green Island and things to do ocean walker snorkeling scuba dive and semi submersible day three visit the Paranola Park, uh, one of the most popular attractions waterfalls bridges tunnels castles 7000 trees guided tours located just an hour and a half from Carnes. included in your ticket is three guided tours foods to feed the resident fish and turtles and a bookmark etc and then in the evening visit the zoom and wildlife dome walking distance is situated uh, hold on one moment i'm sorry guys Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Um, ba, 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 Wells Fargo. All right. It's here. I'll just give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, guys. Copy. 
All right. Um, okay. Uh, so the dome walking distance. Da, da, da. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it. Doing it. I'm, there you go. <clears throat> walking distance to trade on the rooftop of the of the Reef Hotel Casino. 65 elements crossing zip lines. One takes you directly over four meters of saltwater crocodiles interacting nat native wildlife daily shows and presentations. Then you have Port Douglas on day four. Hire your car and drive through the scenic coastal route. Stop by Rex, look out for some beautiful panoramic views of Port Douglas. How about the Hartley's Crocodile Adventures? Take a boat cruise in the lagoon and see the crocodiles and wildlife, and then enjoy a sunset cruise with Sail Away Port Douglas to unwind and a uh, peace, tranquility of pure sailing. Last day, the morning, go to the Gorge Center guided dream walk, dream time walk conducted by local indigenous people. They take um, a journey along um, private gentle tracks, um, seeing different sites, bark shelters, meandering cool and rainforest streams. After the walk, drive up for an hour and 40 minutes to Cape Tribulation to go jungle surfing or jungle surfing canopy tours. Unique rainforest tour, fly through the Flying Fox, stop by the five eco-friendly tree platforms, and then drive back to Port Douglas. Um, flames, uh, stop by Flames of the Forest, Palm Cove, Australia's only rainforest dining experience in the heart of the tropical North Queensland. Choose from Aboriginal cultural experience or the rainforest dining. And then you go home. All right, so an example of a, of a trip that you can offer to your clients. Now we're going to take our second quiz. Okay, everybody good? Everybody ready? Again, you remember... Test questions can be out of order. Just make sure you're on the right test with us, okay? All right. Ba, 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 ba. All right, which is the main port in Carnes? okay? Which is the main port in Carnes? How do you get to the next course after completing the first? Um, you can probably just go to the home um, right here, home button. Um, also, once you finish the course, the second course is right below. Okay, uh, Morgan, make sure you go. Okay, make sure to get to the course, guys. Remember, you have to go through all these. You have to make sure all these are 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 clicked. So you go next, next, next. You have to make sure you go through every field to get to the course. Okay, and then it should take you there. Um, so click, 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 click. Some reason it's kicking me weird. So you just keep going until the end. And then we do the itinerary right here, and then it says take quiz. Okay, just try it again. It should take you there. Sometimes, as you see, it's kind of be, can be finicky. Okay. All right. So how far? Now I changed my question. <laughs> how far is Port Douglas from Carnes? One hour, two hour, three hour, or none of the above? I thought I said something about seven hours. Okay, so we got one hour or seven hours. Anybody one hour. Else? One hour. Okay, so two for one hour. Which is the main port in Carnes? Is it Henlon, Douglas, Victoria Harbor, or Clang? I think it's Douglas. Or Douglas, okay. Which of the following World Heritage Sites is in Carnes? Great Barrier Reef, right? Wasn't it that? And the forest, right? Yes. And then where can one find dwarf mink whales? Was that Fraser Island or the Great Barrier Reef? Great Barrier Reef, okay. All right, let's try it. So we got one hour drive, Port Douglas, Great Barrier Reef, Great Barrier Reef. I did not have that last question. <laughs> okay. Did you have a different one? It says, which of the following World Heritage Sites is in Carnes? That's the, the Great Barrier Reef. I had that one twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, both the we, Great Barrier Reef was to the answer twice. So I don't know. But um. But we passed four out of four again. Now you got another certificate. So again, congratulations, guys. So now you've um, been certified with Carnes and Great Barrier Reef. 
And oh, now, Marty. Yes. On the last test. Uh huh. The tilt. It wasn't the tilt train nor the none of the above. So it was one of the other two train things. Okay. Was, uh, the Queenslander class aboard. Queenslander. Thank you. All right. So we didn't have to retake it, but if you're on this recording now, you know what the correct answer was. So thanks, guys. <clears throat> All right. So we have four more to do. So we'll go with Wit Sun Sundays and. Um, depending on how long that takes, we will either move on or take another one. So it depends on how long they are. So with Sundays, imagine 74 picture perfect islands of paradise. This is with Sundays located on the northeast coast where pristine rainforest panoramic vistas meet white sand islands and spectacular coral reef. Where barefoot luxury and island hideaways meet eco adventures and camping under the stars. The Wit Sundays is a reef fringed haven filled with possibilities. Um, the Wit Sundays are among the top destinations of World UNESCO World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef. Okay. This one I think is going to be a short one. So let's see. And again, maybe we can finish this today and then we can do another thing on Friday. So let's see. So the destination, one of Australia's most iconic destination, the Whitsundays are a group of 74 jewel-like islands that sit right in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef. Hop from Hamilton to Whitsunday or Long Island. Relax on Whitehaven Beach, one of the world's best beaches, or get out of the water in the sailing capital of the country. Don't forget about the mainland though. Uh, the Whitsunday Coast has charms of its own with great beaches, national parks, and buzzing town of Arley Beach. How to get there. So by air, once in Australia, fly into Whitsunday Coast Airport at Prosperin or Great Barrier Reef Airport on Hamilton Island. The Whitsundays are located approximately 1120 kilometers or 695 miles north of Brisbane, 630 kilometers or 390 miles south of Carnes. The Whit Sunday Coast Airport is approximately 25 minutes by car from Arley Beach. By car, 25 minutes by car from Arley Beach. <clears throat> and then transfers. Transfer options include ferries. The website froze on my end. Okay, just it should it should pop up in a minute. Just hit refresh or something. Again, we're just reading. We need to have time to catch up. Um, transfer options include ferries. Fantasia Adventure Cruising and Cruise with Sundays. Just keep your ears open to help with the test. Between the mainland and island resorts and the Great Barrier Reef Airport, and then bus transit from Prosperin, Pro, Prosperin Airport, taxis, car, and limousine hire. Okay, so those are ways to get there. Again, click here to save all your slides. Save itinerary. Okay, save. All right, we'll just put Australia, A-U-S-T-R, Australia. Okay, next. All right, where should we stay there? The best place to see all the Whitsundays might be on a yacht, but there are heaps of dry land accommodation offers that will help. Um, Did you see that? Popped automatically back. All right. That will have you sailing through your holiday. <laughs> Stop it. Sailing through your holiday with a smile on your face. Backpackers have their choice of at least half a dozen hostels in the area. Families can choose between Arley Beach Caravan Parks with cabins and camping resorts. Um, your sister, yeah. Uh, families flock to Hamilton Island to take advantage of the holiday packages that are offered, as well as a number of activities for little ones. From self-catering apartments, holiday homes, to luxury resorts, you'll find accommodation options suited to your holiday needs. Many of the resorts on the Whit Sunday Islands also offer kids clubs, which parents know are worth their weight in gold when you're on a holiday. Don't look past Arley Beach as a friendly, uh, family friendly or budget option either. As a main port of call for tours and activities, the town and marina are always buzzing with activity and restaurant entertainment options are plentiful at your fingertips. 
places to visit. You could discover a new island, a new beach, a new snorkel site every day in the Witch Sundays. It's a region jam packed with bucket list experiences. The Witch Sundays are Australia's most famous islands, <clears throat> right in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef. These 74 jewels are blessed with powder white sands, emerald rainforests, untouched reefs, and upscale resorts, as well as iconic heart reef and Whitehaven Beach. Sail away. The Witch Sundays are made to explore by, be, by boat. Be your own skipper on a barefoot or charter a boat with a full crew and relax on deck with the wind in your hair and a glass of champagne in hand. Dive into the reef. The Whitsunday Islands are at the heart of one of the world's natural wonders, Great Barrier Reef. Spend the night at the, on the water, on the floating um, pontoon, snorkel, or dive at sites such as Blue Pearl Bay and the wood pile on Hook Island. Venture to a secluded island with a kayak or see it all from above on a scenic flight. Find your perfect island. There's 74 in Whit Sundays, ranging from well developed holiday hubs like Hamilton Island to the rugged and mostly uninhabited Hook Island. Most are national parks and surrounded by white sand beaches and colorful reefs. Cover your toes in white sand. Hundreds of picture perfect beaches dotted across Whit Sundays. The best of them is the award winning Whitehaven Beach on Whit Sunday Island seven kilometer strip of powder white sand that's been named one of the best in the world. Hire a boat and admire the pure white sand from the water. See it from a vantage point of hill, inlet, lookout, or simply dig your toes in the beach. Whew. All right, Arley Beach. So the mainland gateway to uh, Whitland Island is Arley Beach, surrounded by beaches, lagoons, national parks. When the sun goes down, the town comes alive. Sprawling pubs, raucous, raucous bars, buzzing nightclubs. Discover Conway National Park, 15, um, just 15 away with its rainforest clad hills, deserted beaches, sweeping views over the Witch Sunday Passage. Proserpin Airport, 40 minutes from Arley Beach, car, taxi, shuttle, and bus transfers. Yeah, the islands, each island has its own special charm. Hamilton Island is the most developed. Bars and restaurants, large marina, multiple accommodation options, including family-friendly hotels, self-contained apartments. The vast uninhabited Whits Island, um, Whits Sunday Island is covered in pristine rainforest and boasts the award-winning Whitehaven Beach, a seven-kilometer stretch of brilliant white sand. Boats depart daily from Arley Beach to sail to the Whit Sundays. The journey to Hamilton Island takes one hour, and you can explore Whitehaven Beach on a half day tour. Again, save your slides. All right, on the coast, the Whit Sunday coast is just as impressive as the islands. Spend a day beach hopping, swimming, fishing, or lazing around Cape Gloucester and seek out the tiny hidden hamlet of Hideaway Bay. With its long sandy beach and fringing reef, take a dip in Cedar Creek Falls, surrounded by wild orchids, colorful butterflies, curious turtles. Fly into Prosperin Airport from Carnes, Brisbane, Sydney, or Melbourne. It's just a short drive from Arley Beach and the Whitsunday Coast by bay, by car. The region is about 12 hours from Brisbane or seven hours from Carnes. You have Daydream Island. <clears throat> Following an extensive redevelopment, Daydream Island now offers 277 refurbished modern rooms and suites with the choice of interconnecting rooms for families and special access rooms. There is an expanded food and beverage offering across the island with three restaurants and three bars, including an exciting new Asian fusion restaurant that joins the buffet and modern Australian restaurants. The island has a revitalized pool landscape, allowing you to swim and enjoy unparalleled views across the Whit Sundays. Swimming Hub is complemented by a poolside bar, exclusive, inclusive of a new burger concept. And then Living Reef also makes it um, its return to the island in an even bigger and better capacity than before. With the free form Coral Lagoon wrapping 200 meters around the central building and holding over 1.5 million liters of water. Join the teams, 
team of marine biologists and over 100 species of marine fish raise coral invertebrates such as starfish, sea cucumbers, and crabs. Then you have the Hayman Islands. In the north of the Whitsund Whitsundays lies the Hayman Island. It's Australia's iconic private resort that flourishes with natural beauty, restorative peace, indulgence, and adventure. The five-star intercontinental is the only resort on the island and it attaches great importance to environmental protection. Within the private island resort, stylish elegance reflects the harmony of nature with beautifully appointed accommodations set against the backdrop of coral reef sea. In addition to hiking across the mountainous island, you can participate in various water sports or simply relax by the huge pool. Get here from Hamilton Island via a luxury, luxury yacht in approximately one hour or via helicopter from the mainland. And then Hamilton Island, the Reef View Hotel has many amenities, including 35 meter swimming pool, a reef lounge bar, in-house pool terrace, a restaurant serving buffet breakfast, light lunches, a la carte dinner menu. Reef View Hotel guests has complimentary use of non-motorized water sports. And the hotel has tours and activities desk. Lobby shop, fully serviced business center, all rooms are spacious and well appointed with the furnished balcony, internet access, bathroom with a separate bath and shower, garden view, rooms have leafy views and ocean glimpses, while each coral sea view room has spectacular views over Cat's Eye Bay and nearby Whitsunday Island. You have the beach club, romantic, intimate, perfect for couples, well-appointed boutique rooms of the beach club have a stylish, relaxed beach um, house vibe, tailor-made for relaxing, facing directly on to Cat's Eye Beach. Each spacious beach club room opens onto private furnished terrace or balcony with palm fringed views of the Coral Sea. Hamilton Island's best choice for boutique accommodations. The beach club rooms have an elegant seaside decor with the choice of a king or twin single bed, well-appointed rooms with in-suite uh, bathroom with the beat bath, separate shower and bathrooms. There's everything you need to relax at your fingertips from surround sound television and is the stream complimentary connection to internet access stereo and deluxe mini bar. And then you have the Yacht, yacht Club Villas. <clears throat> the luxury Yacht Club Villas boasts a superb waterfront position with breathtaking um, ocean views. With the design emphasis on privacy and space, each villa spans three to four levels according to the position designed by renowned architect Walter Barda with landscaping crafted by celebrity landscape designer Jamie Dury. Each four bedroom villa offers a spacious open plan, living dining room, state of the art gourmet kitchen with meal appliances, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, separate laundry, fully ducted air conditioning and a private golf bug buggy for guest use. And then last is Qualia. Nestled in the northern tip of Hamilton Island, Qualia is a unique expression of world-class luxury. Immersing guests in a relaxed atmosphere, offering personalized and intuitive service, Qualia is a truly special place where everything has been meticulously considered to relax the mind, yet completely spoil the senses. All right, so three nights in Hamilton Island and one night in Arley Beach. The Whitsundays is one of the most stunning locations in the world. 74 tropical islands located in the heart of the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of central Queensland. Hop from the Hamilton to Hayman Daydream, Whitsunday or Long Island. Relax on Whitehaven Beach, consistently voted one of the world's best beaches. Which one? Whitehaven Beach, okay? Or get out of the water in the sailing capital of the country. With Sunday Coast has charms of its own, great beaches, national parks, and buzzing um, mainland town of Arley Beach. Again, guys, make sure you click add to itinerary so you keep this handy. So your first day, you're going to arrive at Hamilton Airport, get transferred to your accommodation. Enjoy the ultimate Australian luxury at Qualia or the Boutique Beach Club. 
Relax in large rooms, enjoy the magnificent views in the Four Star Reef Hotel. Enjoy the convenience of the newly renovated self-contained palm bungalows. You can also choose to stay at a jaw-dropping luxurious yacht club villa. Soak in the island's adventurous side by hiring a buggy and driving around the hotspots to catch all the action on the island. Take a dip in the pool or have a swim or just relax on the beach. Evening for dinner, you'll be spoiled for choices in your search for fine food and wine from superb balmy restaurant in the iconic Hamilton Island Yacht Club to any number of outstanding restaurants and cafes around the island. Day two, you're going to, we're going to be taking a quiz too, so get ready. In the morning, enjoy a unique experience having breakfast with the koalas at Wildlife Hamilton Island. A great activity for the whole family will love. Wildlife Hamilton Island gives you the opportunity to get up close and some iconic Australian wildlife. Then in the afternoon, head out to the Outer Great Barrier Reef for a day trip to experience breathtaking fish and coral life. Go snorkeling, diving, simply experience a beautiful coral and marine life in a semi-submersible. In the evening, treat yourself to fine dining experience at the Beach Club restaurant or on Hamilton Island. And then the last day, take a trip out to Whitehaven Beach on a seaplane. See the iconic Heart Reef on the way by um, on the way by and land in style to enjoy a picnic on one of the world's whitest beaches. End your Hamilton Island adventure with a sunset cruise and dine. Embark on the ultimate dining experience on board the MV Hamilton Star. Relax, unwind, indulge in your senses with a cocktail and appetizers as you set up a relaxing, peaceful evening cruise around with Sunday's Island. Enjoy a first class a la carte meal with entree, main and dessert, and then you depart. All right, test time, guys. Let's do it. All right. So this is a test on Whit Sundays. So the best way to see all of Whit Sundays might be by yacht, road, foot, or none of the above. I would probably say yacht. All right, which of the following is the only resort on Hayman Island? Is it Intercontinental, Pullman Hotel, Four Seasons, or Sofitel Nusa Pacific Resort? Is it Four Seasons? Thank you, Christina, for helping. If somebody can, can help her email her the answers, that would be great. All right, anybody know the only resort on Hayman Island? Intercontinental, thank you. Arley Beach gives the following route to Sunday Coast. Shortest route, longest route, bumpy route, none. Route, 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 route. Arley Beach gives the following route. Shortest, longest, bumpy, none. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be shortest? Shortest, okay. That's what I was... Thank you. <laughs> All right. Again, we have 37 on here, guys. Let's let's help each other. Which is the group of 74 islands? That's the Whit Sundays, right? Yeah. Which, which island lies to the north of Whit Sundays? Is that Daydream, Agaswara, Hayman, or Lizard? To the north. It's Heyman. Heyman, thank you. Yeah. Which island is rugged, uninhabited among the Whitsanders? That was Hook. Yeah, I got that one. Captain Hook is how I remembered that. All right, so on a yacht, intercontinental, shortest route, Whitsundays, Heyman Island, and Hook Island. Let's check it out. Ding, 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 ding. Did we pass? Six out of six, you guys are great. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, guys, so do you wanna keep going on? Um, do you wanna to try to finish it today? I'm up for it, if you guys are up for it, if you guys wanna end and do these three next, or Friday, mm -hmm. let Hi. me know. Hi, Mommy. Yes? I didn't get, well, mine's is out of order, so I didn't get the, um. I have three that I have to answer. Okay, what is it? The best way to see all the Whit Sundays may be by a yacht. That's yacht, yacht right? Yep. And uh, which of the following is the only resort 
on Hayman it's Island. Intercontinental. Intercontinental. Yep. And the last one is Airline Beach gives the following route to Whit Sunday Coast. Shortest. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm down to keep going. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get this kicked out of here. Okay. So again, congratulations, I want to everybody. Keep going, but I need a snack. <laughs> you can go get a snack again just listen i'm in the okay. same boat i'm about to get me some chips yep go get something um just listen keep your ears open again we're all here to help each other but yeah let's kick this out and then maybe we can do another of the um regent seas on friday then all right let's go so um this is the sunshine coast and fraser island um, again, if you have to leave, we are recording this, okay? So we, put, we I'll put it here on my YouTube channel, and it'll also go here on this certificate program, okay? So you guys can catch up and finish it on your own if you'd like, okay? All right, so this is Sunshine Coast and Fraser Island. Um, holiday is about relaxation, stunning natural experiences, enjoying fabulous food and adventures. Uh, drive to Sunshine Coast, located north of Brisbane, and escape to Queensland. Sunshine Coast is a breath of fresh air. On the Sunshine Coast, the only thing more refreshing than the water is the lifestyle. With its endless beaches, lush rainforest, easy smiles, it's a place where you feel like a local from the moment you arrive. Fraser Island is the jewel of the Fraser Coast. It's the largest sand island in the world, a huge bank that stretches for more than 120 kilometers north to south and is dotted with ancient rainforest, more than 100 lakes, vast dunes, and deserted beaches. All right, so start this course. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> All right. So about the destination on the Sunshine Coast, the only thing about more refreshing than water is the lifestyle. With its endless beaches, lush rainforest, easy smiles, it's a place where you'll feel like a local from the moment you arrive. A Sunshine Coast, Fraser Island holiday is all about relaxation, stunning natural experiences, fabulous food and adventure. Drive to Sunshine Coast, located north of Brisbane, Okay, Sunshine Coast, north of Brisbane. Escape to Queensland, Sunshine Coast is a breath of fresh air. So by the beach, choose your path of sand. Again, click save itinerary. Okay, save again, Australia, part two, I'll put two. Okay, save itinerary, there we go. All right, by the beach, choose your path of sand over 100, oh my gosh, there we go again. Um, 100 kilometers pristine coastline stretching from Calondra in the south to Noosa and the rainbow sands of Kalua coast of the north. Soak up the warm sunshine laid back atmosphere, paddle into the home of longboarding with the surf lesson and Noosa's main beach, hire a boat, kayak, a stand up paddle boat and cruise the calm waters of Puma Stone Passage or one of the many lakes and inlets. Build sand castles, eat fish and chips, lay, uh, just lay back with a book on Mula Laba Beach. Swim, ride, uh, run your way through triath triathlon, marathon, or fun run with the best views of the coast. Hinterland charm, rolling surf or rolling hills, the sunshine coast hinterland is full of natural beauty, cozy cafes, boutiques waiting to be discovered. Be entertained by local artists, stock up on arts and crafts at Umundi Markets, take in a view from the Glasshouse Mountain or wander through national parks and trails. Pair local cheese and wine in Maleni or treat yourself to high tea and antique shopping in Montville. Sample the sunny coast with award-winning restaurants, food trails, vibrant food festivals and bustling farmers markets the sunshine coast is one giant celebration of food and wine okay i'm ready right tick off your foodie bucket list with beachfront and rainforest restaurants worth traveling for sample just pick strawberries fresh caught seafood at an outdoor farmers market all right you have accommodations kingfisher bay resort located north of the sunshine coast gateway to the world heritage wilderness of fraser island Ancient rainforest, spectacular freshwater lakes, and famous 75-mile beach. 
<clears throat> the resort nestles among tree covered dunes on the edge of the calm waters of the Great Sandy Strait. Paradise for boating, fishing, swimming, bushwalking, four wheel driving, just enjoying the magnificent natural beauty of the island. Kingfisher Bay Resort has won five, five Australian tourism awards and the resort and all tours have been awarded the Advanced National Ecotourism Accreditation. Okay, so remember that. All right, and there it keeps popping me back, popping me back. Okay, how to reach there? You fly from the Sunshine Coast Domestic Airport at Mara Chador or Brisbane Airport. Sunshine Coast located one hour drive north of Brisbane. Rail, Queensland Rail services operate from Brisbane to the Sunshine Coast with connecting bus service to the coastal centers. Transfer options include Sun Air Bus Service, Henry's Airport Shuttle Service, and Kulala Connection Taxi Car and Limousine Hire. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> We're going forward. All right, Discovery Group, Noosa Everglades. Discover the River of, Mir of Mirrors with Australia's multi-award winning tour group. <clears throat> Offering unforgettable half-day, full-day wilderness cruises into one of Australia's most pristine regions. Uh, for more adventurous, choose the canoeing day tours or overnight camping tours in Noosa Everglades. Discover one of Australia's best kept secrets. Cruise through magnificent lakes and wetlands as you navigate your way into the mysterious and tranquil mirrored waters of the Noosa Everglades. Enjoy time out to explore the historic loggers camp at Harry's Hut. Celebrate your experience with chilled champagne and orange juice on our afternoon cruise or authentic Australian barbecue lunch on a full day tour. All right, and then turquoise water, white sand, frolicking dolphins. This is the Noosa National Park Walk, native forest with koalas. Sounds like a dream? Yes. Well, right on, because Noosa National Park on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, around 150 kilometers north of Brisbane, is a knock your socks off stunner. There are 15 kilometers worth of trails to explore, split from Hastings Street and walk straight into a postcard. There are a few places in the world where you have a thriving town center chocked with boutiques and cafes, just a stone's throw from some of the most stunning landscapes you'll ever see. Sand and surf meld with peaceful forests that has Australia stamped all over it. Again, make sure you save your itinerary. Discover the sand dunes with Great, great Breach Drive four-wheel drive tours. Tours take place from Noosa to Rainbow Beach and return in an experience that can only be described as exhilarating. Accessible only by four-wheel drive, imagine pure exhilaration of driving more than 70 kilometers on a white sandy beach with the Pacific Ocean on one side and the natural bushland on the other. Stopping at Double Island Point Lighthouse for stunning views, Rainbow Beach for colored sands, Honeymoon Bay for secluded lagoon swims, and Carlos Sandlow for breathtaking sunsets. Our return tour showcases the unbelievable natural beauty of this amazing coastline. Imagine this off the beaten track, four-wheel drive adventures in the World Heritage Listed National Park, Bucket list animal encounters against backdrops of jaw-dropping natural beauty, abundant crystal clear waters teeming with marine life. This is Fraser Coast, a place to experience nature as its awe-inspiring best. Cruise Fraser Island, Great Beach Drive, a beach highway on one of the world's largest sand islands before cooling off in sparkling fresh waters, lakes. Visit between July and November to experience soul-stirring sight of humpback whales frolicking with their newborn calves in the gentle, protected waters of Herbie Bay. Where can you see humpback whales? Herbie Bay, right? Uh, Fraser Coast. Okay, Australia's whale watching capital. Or explore the sheltered bays and mangrove lined creeks of the Great Sandy Strait, a fisherman's paradise. You get there by air, Hervey Bay Domestic Airport from Brisbane, which is 45 minutes, or Sydney, 90 minutes. Hervey Bay is located four hour drive of Bay, uh, north of Brisbane. Railway, Queensland Rail, Tilt Train, and Sunlander Link, Mayborough to Brisbane. Here's the link for that. And then transfers options include a Q Wide Bay Transit, Hervey Bay Limousine, Taxi, Taxis, Fraser Island, Australia. Hervey Bay Taxi Service, Airport Shuttle, Hervey Bay Car for Hire. 
All right. Now, if you want to be in the thick of the action, pick a spot in Hervey Bay where the dining, shopping, entertainment options will convince you to extend your short stay in a longer cap escapade. <clears throat> Swap coastline for the country in the Fraser Coast, Tintland, um, where quaint towns and local produce are plenty, or soak up the history of Maryborough. If you're keen, fish or bunker down at the Barham Coast and Great uh, Sandy Strait, where there are more fish than people. And then nature natives, if you're looking for ultimate outdoor experience, don't look past a beachfront camping spot in the midst of the World Heritage listed Fraser Island. Lots of dingoes, okay. Now get up close and personal with humpback whales in the calm, protected waters of Hervey Bay, the only place in the world where these gentle giants come to rest, socialize, and play. Witness the soul-stirring sight of the humpbacks frolicking with their newborn calves from the comfort of a super vessel. Get even closer view aboard a luxury catamaran or share the water with these magnificent creatures during a life-changing swim with the whale experience. That would be beautiful, huh? All right, tours and things to do. You have Lake Mackenzie linked with pure white sand, crystal clear rainwater. Uh, Lake Mackenzie is Fraser Island's most popular attraction. Take a dip or wake up early to see, a lit, see it lit up at sunrise. You have the Maheno Shipwreck, an iconic landmark of Fraser Island. This ill-fated trans-Tasman liner was driven ashore in 1935. Rusting skeleton still stands on the sand north of Happy Valley, slowly eroding away in the salt and wind. Four-wheel driving, Fraser Island and a four-wheel drive playground and one of the few places in Australia where you can drive along the beach. Just watch out for the tides. Pick up your permit and don't miss a spin along the full length of the 75-mile beach. All right, so itinerary, day one. This is three days, two nights on Fraser Island. Fraser Island is the jewel of the Fraser Coast. Depart Brisbane in the morning for three hours self-drive to Hervey Bay. Arrive at Riverheads in Hervey Bay, take the afternoon to ferry to Fraser Island. Check into King Fisher Bay Resort at Fraser Island. Head over to the Jetty Hut. Enjoy a cheese platter with beer while watching Fraser Island's most beautiful sunset. You have Kingfisher Bay Resort as the gateway to the World Heritage Wilderness Fraser Island. It's ancient rainforest, spectacular freshwater lakes, famous 75 mile beach. The resort is a paradise of boating, fishing, swimming, four wheel diving, and just enjoying the magnificent natural beauty of the island. Overnight at Kingfisher Bay Resort. Day two, start your day off with early breakfast at 8.30. Four-wheel drive bus to explore Fraser Island's beauty. On this beautiful day, visit the top natural famous highway, Mahina and Shipwreck and the colored sands of the Pinnacles. Swim in the temperate fresh water of Eli Creek and the island jewels, Lake Mackenzie. Jump to the opportunity of taking a ride off the world's only beach runway, undoubtedly the best views of Fraser Island. You will see stingrays, dolphins, even whales during season as you fly over spectacular coastline overnight at Kingfisher Bay Resort again, and then have breakfast and depart on the ferry. Pick up your car and drive to Biz Brisbane. All right, that was a quick one, right? Let's take the quiz. And then we only have two left. Woo -woo. All right, again, your questions may be out of order, so let's just work on them. Which island is known as the jewel of the Fraser Coast? Is that Macquarie, Fraser, Cocos Island, or Phoenix Island? I don't remember that. Fraser. Fraser, Fraser thank you. Which coast is located to the north of Brisbane? Remember I said that? Wasn't that Sunshine Coast or Whitehaven? Which one was it? I know I mentioned it, north of Brisbane. Sunshine. Sunshine. The only island where you can drive along the beach. Which one was that? Wasn't that like Wasn't seven Hervey miles Bay. long? Hervey Bay. Okay. It's not on there. Fraser Island. Oh, not on there. Fraser, Fraser Island. Island. Okay. Uh, which among the following is known as Australia, Australia's whale watching capital? Was that Hervey Bay? Hervey Bay. 
Yeah. And last one, what national park comes to mind when you hear about the turquoise water, white sand, frolicking dolphins, and native forests with koalas? Nosa. Nosa. Very good. All right. So we've got Fraser Island, Sunshine Coast, Fraser Island, Hervey Bay, and Noosa. Let's see how we did. Five out of five. You guys are great. Very good. Congratulations, everybody. And last but not least, let's move on to Brisbane. Everybody doing good? We're going to knock these out. Do, 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 do. Okay, <clears throat> Brisbane. Welcome to Brisbane, Queensland's buzzling, buzzing Riverside capital city is wedged between the ocean and rugged national parks. Brisbane is a cosmopolitan hub for arts, culture, dining, but still retains a close connection with nature and a classic laid back Queensland attitude. It's also the gateway to the wonders of the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast. All right, so let's start this course and then we only have one left, so let's kick them out. So again, thanks for hanging out, guys. Friday, we will do the second one for Regent 7 Cs. If you join me for that, again, click on all slides. Understated, unpretentious, and with welcoming, laid back vibe that flips a traditional city experience on its head. That's what Brisbane is all about. The River City boasts of world class cultural precincts, award winning dining experiences, buzzing after dark and music scenes breathtaking island escapes, stunning national parks, paddock to plate experiences. Queensland's capital city, Brisbane Inn, is Australia's third largest metropolis with a population of around 2.3 million. City enjoys pleasant year-round temperatures of at least 20 degrees. Brisbane can be explored on foot, by bicycle, and from the water, the Brisbane River. You can also get a good view of the skyline during a guided climbing tour to the top of the Story Bridge. Howard Smith Wharves is home to a brand new nightlife area, boasting restaurants, bars, cafe shops, and even its own brewery. Brisbane also owns Australia's only inner city beach in South Bank, Streets Beach. If you're shopping buff, Brisbane. Vegas got that covered too. The Queen Street Mall is home to over 700 shops. How do you get there? Air, fly direct, Brisbane Airport, Gold Coast Airport, Sunshine Coast Domestic Airport, and Hervey Bay Domestic Airport. So Gold Coast and Brisbane do international and domestic. Brisbane is located 90 minutes flying time north of Sydney. Transfers, you have various types of transport available to help you experience Southern Queensland, whether you choose to explore it yourself or join an organized tour. It's easy to combine different options, including hire, car, rail, coach, scheduled and charter flights, package tours and extended touring options. Railway, Sunrise, um, Sunshine Coast, located one hour drive north of Brisbane. The rail trail services operate from Brisbane to Sunshine Coast with connecting bus service to coastal centers. Fraser Coast, located one hour flying time north of Brisbane or three hour drive. And then Gold Coast, one hour drive south of Brisbane, Queensland. Rail City train services run regularly to Gold Coast. The air train links the Gold Coast and Brisbane with Brisbane domestic and international. Accommodations, you have the iconic Brisbane River wraps around Queensland's vibrant capital, carving distinct inner city neighborhoods with their unique traits and personalities. Whether you're looking for a new hotel in the CBD or chic holiday house in Paddington or an apartment in the laid back West End, Brisbane serves up a variety of accommodation options, whether you're here for a good time or a long time. Basing yourself in Brisbane uh, City gives you a front row seat to the bustling inner city action, as well as easy access to neighboring precincts. Shop and drop at a luxury hotel giant near Queen Street. Brisbane's retail mecca or flop and drop at a quirky hotel or apartment near Brisbane's botanical gardens. And then you have for five star glamour W on George Street for apartments that add your cultural experience. Johnson's Hotel for the quintessential Queensland construction. Spicer's Balfour for hip new cool hotels. Tripe Ovalo or Imperium, um, Emporium 
for a great access to the mall. Next hotel to stay in the thick of the action, Rages South Bank. And then for transit, Pullman Brisbane Airport for the best city experience, FV by Peppers. Got that? <laughs> wow. All right. And then places to visit. Again, save the slides. Oh my gosh. Australia part three. 34. <laughs> All right, from the vibrant um, heart of the city, the white sand beaches of Moreton. Wow. Um, and the sleepy hinterland villages of the scenic rim, you'll find incredible diversity in and around Brisbane. Brisbane City, this is where the action is. Eat, drink, shop, and discover everything Brisbane has to offer. Moreton Island, a quiet island retreat of vast sand dunes, shipwrecks to snorkel, wild dolphins, and beautiful beaches. Take the ferry from Holt Street Wharf in Brisbane for the 75-minute journey. Take me to Moreton Island. North Stradbrook Island, spot whales, go four-wheel driving on the beach, camp right by the water on the world's second largest sand island, and take me to North Stradbroke Island. And then you have day trips, get out of the city, discover some of Queensland's most enticing destinations, 70 kilometers north of a relaxing day on a beautiful Bribey Island, the only Queensland island with the bridge. Or 30 minutes from the city, Diagular National Park is the place for the active adventure. And then the scenic rim is easily accessed from Brisbane, the Gold Coast, the region is easy, one hour drive from Brisbane and Gold Coast. With hotels, motels, mountain lodges, glamping, camping, farm stays, self-contained properties, it's easy to find accommodations to suit your needs. Region can accommodate wedding parties, conference groups, business travelers, holiday makers, adventure seekers, bushwalkers, families, and nature lovers. Check out some of the great accommodations on offer in the scenic rim. One of the best ways to explore this stunning region is on foot. Scenic Rim is home to six national parks, really does have a walk to suit most abilities. Wow. All right, and then visit Tangaluma Wild Dolphin Resort, 45 minute boat ride from Brisbane with over 40 free activities. Free, got that? Uh, Tangaluma Resort allows you to indulge in top experience of hand feeding wild dolphins, sand tobogganing, quad bikes, <clears throat> tours, and whale watching during season. All right, and then food, wine, and dine. Just catch back up, Kathy. You're good. We're getting ready to take a test. Eat, drink your way around the city at cool cafes, waterfront restaurants, rooftop bars. Make the most of the sunshine. Sit down at an alfresco restaurant. Grab tasty street food at the Eat Street North Shore Markets, South Bank Markets, and Jan Power Farmers Market. Brisbane is bursting with bars to make sure, make your way from rooftop to laneway in search of the finest cocktail. Try a limited edition brew at a local craft beer bar or take the city cat along the river for a pub crawl with a difference. Howard Smith Wharves, Brisbane's hottest new dining lifestyle precinct. If you're looking for insta-worthy views, this is the place to be. Howard Smith Wharves are nestled between Brisbane's iconic Story Bridge and the New Farm Cliffs with a 180 degree vista of the city skyline and river. Shopping uh, Central, find international brands in the Queen Street Mall, designer boutiques in James Street and Bulamba, and hunt out vintage treasures in Paddington. If you're looking for a bargain, head to the factory outlets at DFO Brisbane Airport. And then you have Brisbane laneways. Move over, Melbourne. Brisbane's strong, long list of hip laneways is ever growing. Knock over coffee or sink back in a nightcap. Stretch out and find zen. Pick up something from a local label. Let Brisbane's laneways surprise you. Wine bars, late night feeds, fancy dining. Burnett Lane has it all. Originally named after James Charles Burnett, an early surveyor in Brisbane, this lane runs from George to Albert Street, parallel to Queen Street Mall, and tucked off Queen Street Mall, Albert Lane is a modern laneway space that's filled with tasty eats. Pop by the 250-seater Vapiano for completely carb-full Italian meals. Order sake and dumplings at Harajuku Gyoza. Dine at the Latin-inspired fair of Camuna Cantina or drop into Singapore and Company Kitchen for lunch. 
All right, and then uh, three day, two night, and then we have our quiz, guys. All right, morning, rise early, soak in the outdoor culture of the city, head to one of the many cafes that serves a perfect breakfast to kick off your packed day in the capital. Visit South Bank, Wollongamba, West End, or New Farm for some great cafe style dining. Hop on a relaxed cruise or more fun fast boat ride with Miramar Cruises. Visit the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, world's first and largest koala sanctuary. You'll have three hours to spend exploring Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary where you'll hand feed kangaroos and emus. Experience an authentic Australian sheepdog in action. Spy on a shy platypus swimming. See the amazing birds of prey and yes, even have photos taken holding a koala. Afternoon, a ride back in South Bank, Brisbane in the afternoon and explore the riverside, take a Segway tour on or a bicycle tour, must do is the Wheel of Brisbane. Get high up and take an unparalleled 360 degree views of the city. And then at night, explore the uh, hip rooftop bar life by the river at Eagle Street Pier, overlooking the stunning Story Bridge at night. Fine dining restaurants like Alchemy and Aria. Uh, snuggle into a cozy cafe or enjoy a hearty meal at Queen Street. Overnight in Brisbane and then day two, get up, take the Brisbane Laneway Street Tours, witness over 1,500 cafes and restaurants. <coughs> this walk is a tasting tour of the city center. Coffee scene. We'll stop at selected laneways, cafes, learn about the coffee, and of course, enjoy some coffee, tea, chai tea, chai latte, iced chocolate, pick up some great tips on eating and drinking from Brisbane, Brisbaneites, see a little on street art and finish a laneway cafe or bar. In the afternoon, shopping in Brisbane is a vibrant adventure, more over 700 stores on Queen Street Mall, Queens Plaza to Winter Garden, the Meyer Center, Brisbane Arcade from luxury to high street. In the evening, strap on a harness, scale the Story Bridge with Story Bridge Adventure Climb, one of the only three bridges in the world you can abseil down. Age limit is a minimum of 10 years old. Store Bridge Climb is a soft adventure experience with a different and most spectacular way to discover Brisbane. Whether you're local or visitor, you'll be exhilarated by a once in a lifetime experience that offers you the most breathtaking panorama of Brisbane and its surrounding natural beauty. And then at night, eat street North Shore. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world, a special one of a kind experience created for you to enjoy, a special place that reflects everything about Queensland and Brisbane's subtropical way of life. <clears throat> eat Street Northway oper operate, North Shore operates every Friday and Saturday from 4 p.m. to 10 and Sunday 12 to 8. Eat, shop, play in the best atmosphere on the river. And then the last day, herb tour around Brisbane or vintage picnic company experience a vintage picnic breakfast at the new farm park or brewery tours experience the inner workings of this heritage brewery and then depart Brisbane. All right, test. And then we have one last one. World's second largest sand island. Is that Fraser Island, Whitsunday Island, Hamilton Island or North Stradbroke Island? which is the second largest sand island. North Stradbroke Island. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> World's first and largest koala sanctuary. Is that the Lone Pine? Which one was that? Brisbane Koala Sanctuary, Lone Pine, Corumban Wildlife. We just talked about that, being able to hold your own um, koala bear. Lone Pine. Lone Pine. Lone Lump on. That's what I thought. Fine. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Which city is Queensland's capital? Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, or Sydney? Brisbane. Brisbane. And Brisbane is the gateway to which of the following coasts? Sunrise Coast, Whitlands Coast, Burham Coast, Fraser Gold. Coast, Gold Coast. Gold and Sunshine. Oh. Oh, yeah. Golden sunshine, and a person can get a good view of the skyline during a guided climbing tour on top of the Story Bridge. Story Bridge. Story Bridge. You guys are good. Okay, so Stradbroke, Lone Pine, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine, and Story Bridge. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Let's see where we're at. Come on, submit. Hey there, I'm on a train. My voice Are you coming in? Oh, directory not found. Not... Okay, try again. 
All right, let me call you. Yeah, let me call you right back. I'll be done in a minute. Bye. All right, love you. Bye. No. Okay, what happened? It says directory not found. Oh, did it kick you out? Let me try. No, I can go back. See, that's that what I did. Took me back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's probably saying, what's going on? All right, come on. We're almost done and then it poops out on us. All right, let's try it again. Sign in. No. We'll get it, we'll get it. All right. We wrote down all the answers if anyone forgot. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're going to do Australia, A, U, S, T, And I typed them on my tablet. All right. Now, where's the link? Let me go back here. Get the link. Come on, let's finish. All right, we're on Brisbane, right? Things to do? No, we're on. We already did all that, huh? Yeah, I think I Yeah, Brisbane is the last one, right? So let's see if it pops up. Did anybody pass? Did anybody get through or did everybody get kicked out? Kicked out. I got kicked out. Okay. I'm I got too. All right. Come on. Yeah, we Sorry. all got kicked out since it's Karen, temporarily right unavailable. Reed or what? Is that the one we're on? We're on Brisbane. Yeah, well, that's the one we got kicked out of. Yeah, and then we just have the, the last one left. Finally got through to the quiz. Oh, yeah, cool. which is Karen's and great. Oh, you got through? It's yeah, it easy. took about three tries of logging out and logging back in, but I got it. Yeah, the resource you're looking for might have been removed, name changed, or temporary unavailable. Mine says. Excuse me. All right. Sorry, guys. We definitely don't want to just stop and when we have one left, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm lost. <coughs> I keep getting, getting kicked out. Else, and I think I've been kicked out of oh, total. <laughs> okay, do you guys want the okay. answers so that way you can come back to it later? So that way we're not all trying to get ourselves kicked out at the same time. I finally got through. Got, got through. I got five out of five. So five out of five. Yeah, answers were good. <laughs> Yay! All right. So what we may need to do is, if I don't get through, maybe one of you guys, um, I'll let you share your screen so we can at least get through the last test. Um, Okay, let me see if it'll let me through now. So hold on. It's not it's not even letting me sign in. Yeah, I just had to go through like five times. So just keep trying, guys. It took me a couple of tries to get it back in too. I also had to close my internet browser and start again. Yeah, maybe <laughs> clear your cookies and stuff or try to go back on your phone or something. <clears throat> I only had to log back in once and it took me. All right. All right, so oh, here oh, it was Gold Coast and Sunshine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Capital is Brisbane? Yes. Lone Pine, Story Bridge, and which island? North. North Stradbrook, thank you. Okay, cross your fingers. Let's do it. Yay! Yeah. All right. 
So keep going, guys. Um, we just have one le left, which is the Gold Coast. So again, congratulations, everybody. Don't worry, just keep your ears open. And we're gonna move forward because we're recording and we'll get through this one. It's a short one, 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go. Gold Coast, find endless fun at the world's best love holiday destination, the Gold Coast. Global city with the heart of a coastal village, the Gold Coast has plenty of all-star experiences. Gold Coast is a metropolitan region south of Brisbane on Australia's East Coast. It's famed for its long sandy beaches, surfing spots, and elaborate system of inland canals and waterways. It's also called the theme park capital of Australia. Hop in the car with the coastline in the rear vision mirror. Explore an area known as the green lungs of the Gold Coast. Here you'll discover vineyards, waterfalls, wonders such as Spring Brook, Brook National Park's Natural Bridge. <clears throat> and let's go. Again, um, don't worry if you got kicked out. We have the answers for you on the test, and then um, we'll wait for you on this test. Okay, guys? So it, it, it has a little kink in it, but you'll get through it. Oh, I got it. You got this. <clears throat> All right. So the destination, find endless fun at one of the world's best loved holiday destinations, the Gold Coast. Global city with the heart of coastal village, the Gold Coast, plenty of all air star, all star experiences. Gold Coast is a metropolitan region south of Brisbane on Australia's east coast. It's famed for its long sandy beaches, surfing spots, elaborate system of inland canals and waterways. Hop in the car and with the coastline in the rear vision mirror, explore an area known as the green lungs of the Gold Coast. Here you'll discover vineyards, waterfalls, and wonders such as Spring Brook National Park's Natural Bridge. You can get there by, um, Gold Coast is located one hour drive south of Brisbane, south, okay, Gold Coast is south of Brisbane. Um, air, fly into Gold Coast International Airport or Brisbane International Airport. The Gold Coast is a 75 minute flight from Sydney. Air train links with Gold Coast and Brisbane domestic international airports. You have the railway, runs regular service to Gold Coast and then transfers include limousines, taxis, coaches and self drive. The accommodations choose from hundreds of hotels, resorts, budget and family friendly accommodation options on the Gold Coast. Along the coastline, you'll find five luxury hotels, caravan parks and self-contained apartments. In the hinterland, um, you'll find retreats, glamping options and camping spots. If you wanna be in the thick of the action, pick a spot in Surfer's Paradise or Broad Beach where dining, shopping, entertainment options will have you extending your beach stay late into the evening. Craving a cruise or beach vibe? Set up shop at self-contained apartment at Burleigh Heads or Corumban, where the pace is a little slower, but the beaches are just as brilliant. For more country escape, try a bed and breakfast in the coast, Gold Coast hinterland. The views alone will get you in the holiday feels, but the art trail, boutique shopping, country cafes might make you want to make a tree change forever. <clears throat> Gold Coast is a world contrast bringing together nostalgia and innovation, vibrant nightlife with family friendly experiences and the best of both beaches at the Hinderland. Um, Gold Coast is renowned for its relaxed beach lifestyle. Enjoy water sports like kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, jet skis, jet packs, flyboards, or just enjoy a laid back beach picnic. The Goldie, as the locals call it, is a surf haven with plenty of surf schools for beginners to pros. Each of the Gold Coast beaches has its own personality. Glitzy, high rises, bustling restaurants, sleek boutiques, meet Golden Sands at Broad Beach. Burleigh Heads, famous for its reliable surf breaks and bohemian lifestyle, is a favorite with the locals. At Mellow Main Beach, you can spot dolphins, hire jet ski, or have breakfast at the Surf Life Saving Club. Food and drink, the Gold Coast dining scenes, all about barefoot sophistication. Eat at an outdoor restaurant with views over the water. Grab breakfast at a breezy cafe. Hunt out the city's best fine dining al fresco options and set up on your own craft beer odyssey through breweries, pubs, and rooftop bars. <clears throat> the Gold Coast attractions, get your thrills on a roller coaster or meet your favorite cartoon character at a theme park. <clears throat> 
You have Dream World, the Australia's biggest theme park, rides, slides, wildlife entertainment themed after DreamWorks heroes, including Madagascar, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda. Dream World has entertainment and thrills for all levels of all ages. I didn't even know they had that. How about Warner Brothers Movie World, Australia's number one theme park, Warner Brothers Movie World, home to the tallest, longest, fastest hyper coaster in the Southern Hemisphere. Themed after Warner Brother movies, meet your favorite Hollywood superheroes. Karumban Wildlife Sanctuary, Australian Outback, Australia SeaWorld, Wet and Wild Go Coast, and many more. Discover the magic of glowworms after dark at the Natural Bridge in the Springbrook National Park. Gather the gang together around a big table for street food at the Miami Marquetta Market. And the Gold Coast also maintains a vibrant calendar of events, which range from family-friendly food stalls to the adrenaline of world-class sport competitors, competitions. <clears throat> All right, food and drink. Um, we read that, right? Okay, next. Experience. This is Surfer's Paradise, quintessential Australian beach culture and Surfer's Paradise, capital of Gold Coast. Sample the nightlife ranging from casual pubs, stylish cocktail bars, and pumping clubs. Time to trip around the packed events calendars. You can easily get to Surfer's Paradise from Brisbane Airport, one hour drive, or Gold Coast Airport lies 30 minutes south. Trains also connect all three destinations. You have Lamington National Park, more than 106 kilometers of diverse walking and hiking trail winds throughout the park, including treetop. Walk a series of bridges in the canopy, 15 miles above, or me, above the ground, hit the waterfall circuit to find Elabana, Chalai, Vox Log Falls. Then pitch your tent as one of the well-equipped campsites in the park or a remote bush camp. <clears throat> Lamington National Park is a one hour drive from the Gold Coast. You have Springbrook National Park. 45 minute drive from Gold Coast, Springbrook National Park is a small but special place. Number of short walks running through canyons, beside streams, uh, behind tumbling waterfalls and up to stunning lookouts. A highlight in the striking natural bridge, a rock formation formed by the force of waterfall and illuminated by thousands of glowworms at night. And then get back to nature um, <clears throat> in the green behind the gold, the lush Gold Coast hinterland. Discover ancient, ancient subtropical rainforest in Lamington and Springbrook National Parks. Explore a huge network of walking and hiking trails and chase secret waterfalls tumbling over dramatic cliffs. The Gold Coast hinterland is less than an hour drive inland from the Gold Coast. And then the itinerary in the morning, arrive at the Wildlife Sanctuary, explore the iconic Gold Coast Wildlife Sanctuary for three hours, exploring the Karimban rainforest, wandering through open animal enclosures, feeding kangaroos, cuddling koalas along the way. Um, at afternoon, have an adventure filled, let me say this again, adventure filled afternoon, go jet boating, indoor skydiving, take a fire truck tour of Gold Coast City. At night, Surfer's Paradise, great shopping and dining options. Day two, breakfast at the Sky Point Observation Deck, a must-see for all Gold Coast visitors. Try some soft adventure by climbing on top the Q1 building in the Surfer's Paradise at 270 meters in the air. Sky Point Climb is one of Australia's highest external building walks. Climbers will then descend to level 77. Afternoon, spend the day at the world-class theme parks, Dream World, Movie World, or Sea World, whatever suits your mood. And in the evening, take a sunset cruise, one-hour champagne sunset cruise, sip champagne, watching magical sunset with blissfully cruising aboard a luxury super yacht, complimentary champagne, wine, and premium beer, and gourmet cheese platters. Third day, <clears throat> start the morning off at a higher, hot air balloon, King's Breakfast awaiting you at O'Reilly's Vineyard. In the afternoon, indulge yourself in shopping after an early start of the best discounted outlet shopping the harbor town or splurge on some luxury Pacific fare. Ultimate dinner show experience, Australian Outback Spectacular, pure Australian adventure, Dracula's Cabaret Restaurant combines burlesque, contemporary music and comedy and quality dining all in one night for adults only. 
And then in the um, day four, spend your day at Hinterland, self-drive, get on board a Southern Cross four-wheel drive tour, scenic day tour, visit the green behind the gold, Mount Tambourines, and spectacular views right up to Surfer's Paradise, just 30-minute drive. The afternoon experience wine tasting, try out award-winning cheeses at the Cheese Factory, stroll along gallery. We're on the Gold Coast right now. Uh, stroll along gallery, walk and shop for unique, one-of-a-kind knickknacks. Enjoy a meal at a winery and end it with a short glowworm tour. Discover the Hinterlands World Heritage Rainforest on the Rainforest Skywalk on Mount Tambourine and return to Gold Coast City. Last day, Queensland's a surfer make a must do globe paddlers checklist. Early breakfast and then learn to surf, surf lessons at the beach. Afternoon, catch a taxi, arrive at Hoda, home of the arts, is your place for live performances, lakeside strolls, stargazing, cinema watching, art and new ideas. Unique outdoor stage for live events, refresh cafe for relaxing, connecting, discovery art, indoors and out. Hoda is that kind of place where art meets life. Night, Miami Marquetta open to the public for street food every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Miami Marquetta is popular for its buzzing atmosphere, flamenco, music, and funky open air decor. All right, last test, and then we're done again. We kicked this one out, so congratulations, guys. Let's hope that it doesn't kick us out and we, and we can finish this. All right, <clears throat> it's not spinning. Come on, take the quiz. Let me know if you guys get to the quiz. It kicked me out. It kicked you out again? Yep, kicked me out too. There it goes. Yeah. All I right. have to find that. I, I wrote all the questions down. Oh, cool. Okay, thank Before you. Before it kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get to it. Oh my gosh. All Back right. To travel courses. All right. So, one of the questions was out. where in Australia is Warner Bros. Movie World located? Gold Coast. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know the answer to this one. Um, Gold Coast is often called as, and I don't have the test in front of me, but these are just the questions. Okay. All right. Oh, I yeah. already since they completed the course, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're we're driving it crazy. Okay, here. What is the capital of Gold Coast? What is the capital of Gold Coast? Brisbane, isn't it? Mm -mm. Uh, Surfers Paradise, Queensland, Sydney, oh. or Canberra? Is it Queensland? I thought it was Queensland. That's what I thought. Okay. Well, that'd where, be a good idea. Where in Australia is Warner Brothers movies located? That's the Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Gold Coast. <clears throat> Which beach or beaches have plenty of surf schools for beginners to pros? Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Which city train runs regular services to Gold Coast? Queensland. That's and correct. Gold Coast is often called as Golden Beach, theme park of Australia, largest coast of Australia, jewel of Australia. With the jewel? Which one is it? Don't want to take the barrier reef one. I'm going to guess Jewel, but let's see. <clears throat> All right, so I got Queensland, Gold Coast, Gold Coast, Queensland, and I put Jewel. Oh, I missed it. What's the capital? It's not um, Queensland, and it's often called what? So I have to retake it. I don't. I don't, I don't know where I am. I think it's called the Golden Beach because one of the things I saw was Goldie is one of the. Um, okay. Gold Coast things. is often called Golden Beach. The capital of the Gold Coast is what? I, I was looking back through the things and I never saw the answer to that one. Surfers Paradise. Okay. I did see that. 
All right, what is the city train that runs regular? Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide, or Queensland? Queensland. Queensland. Where in Australia, that's, that's the Gold Coast. And then what beach or beaches have plenty for beginners to pros? Gold Coast beaches, Bondi Beach. What was, when was that? What was the question? Gold Coast. <laughs> Gold Coast. Uh, Gold Coast. Beach or beaches have surf schools. So we Gold, have Gold Coast. Coast, Gold Coast, Golden Beach, Surfers Paradise, oh. and Queensland. Fingers crossed. Golden Beach is right. I got four out of five. Yay. I got four out of five, too. All right. So <laughs> it's not surfers. What is the answer? Are they are you writing them down in the chat? So. Um, we kind of were. Let me go back. Does anybody know which one we missed? It's probably the capital. Okay, so let's look here. Oh, look, it just had it here. Let me go back. What did it say? Hold on. Um, find a global city. Gold Coast is metropolitan. Okay, the theme park capital. Okay, it's called the theme park capital of Australia. That is an option. So that's definitely the answer. Okay. All right, let's go back to the test. So in case you guys missed any, hopefully it'll let get to it. Let me retake it. The actual capital of Gold Coast is Brisbane. Okay, so let's get back to this. Is what? She said Brisbane. Brisbane. Well, I thought they didn't have it. That's not one of the options. <laughs> the options are Surface Paradise, Queensland, and we both we know those are both wrong. And then Sydney and Canberra. All right. So Gold Coast is often called the Park of Australia. Is that what was it? No, or that one was Golden Beach. Golden Beach. The capital of Gold Coast. Surfers Paradise, Queensland, Sydney, or Canberra. Is that Surfers Paradise or capital of Gold Coast? That one's Surfers Paradise. Okay. I thought that one was wrong. Yeah, I thought that was wrong. I, don't know. I got it right when I did it. Oh, okay. So then, then it's the, the theme park one. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, the theme park one. Which beach or beaches um, for beginners? Golden. Gold Coast. Yeah. And then it's your, your Gold Coast is often called as. That's the one you need to change. It's down near your bottom. Down at the bottom. That okay. one's theme what park is of Australia. One? Theme park of Australia. And then which city train? Queensland. Okay, so Queensland Rail. If somebody can type it in there, Queensland Rail, Gold Coast, Gold Coast Beaches, Surfers Paradise, and Theme Park of Australia. Let's check that out. Five out of five. Yay. Yay. Okay. What did you get? You got Gold Coast Beaches. <laughs> yes. Theme Park Capital. Yes. Uh oh, I got a golden beach. Did you have a golden beach in there? Uh no, that's that's the one that changes to theme park. The theme park, yeah. It's not golden beach. Yeah, beach. Okay. Park. Then I have uh Surfer's Paradise. Correct. Yes. What's that answer to? What does that say? The, the capital of Gold Coast. Oh, I have theme park. Okay. What's the theme park thing? That is um, what it's often called. The what is what is Gold Coast called? The um, theme park. That's the answer to that one. Oh, okay. Then Surfer's Paradise was what? What is the capital of Gold Coast? Uh, okay. And Queensland Rail, I got. So we have only about six questions or something. One, two, three, four. Five. There's five questions. Okay, then is there, I don't have another question. Which beach beaches have plenty of surf schools for beginners or pros? Okay, what is that one? 
Gold Coast beaches. Gold Coast, okay, that's oh. what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's that one though. One, I'm still short one. Uh, so you have the beaches, you have the rail, you have it. Oh, do you have the Warner Bros. movie? No, okay. That one is Gold Coast. That's the name of the movie? Uh, it's not the name of the movie. It's where it's located, but it's oh, still Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Okay. I probably had that written down. All right. Okay. Maybe. We good? Everybody good? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever get in. Yeah, but why is it since we're only 91% uh, done, not 100%? Um, on our course? Yeah, if you look at the top, it says 91%, not not right at the very top. Okay. Um, Your progress, time. I don't know. Let's, oh, let's look and see. Yeah. If you don't download the um the Queensland um certificate, it won't give you a hundred. Mine says hundred percent before I did that. Yeah, I had hundred percent. Let's look and see. What was the name of this whole thing? The, what was the name of this portion? Was it Australia? This was the last one we did was Gold Coast, but it's Queensland. Okay. It's, so we did all that's the. That's what I need to do. It's Gold Coast. Okay, that was the last one we just did. Jeez, they keep changing it every time I get in again. <laughs> keep changing the order. Okay, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Well, all I just right. figured out how to get into it, so there we go. <laughs> so I guess are we all done? Everybody got their certificates and stuff. Yes. Okay. Yay! I got fifty. So congratulations, everybody. Um, so if you joined us last Saturday for Regent Seven Cs, um, I'm going to go ahead and add that to this Friday because we only finished the one. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and send out a reminder. We'll do Regent Seven Cs Part Two. If you want to join me for that. And uh, otherwise, tomorrow I'm doing the voucher training. If you want to learn how to use the incentive vouchers, that's at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And we're doing Aruba on Saturday. And then Disney, the, the second course for Disney first. Okay, so here, if you haven't done Regent 7 Seas Part 1, do that. And you can join me Friday for Part 2. Disney, if you haven't started that, right here. Um, then that's where you're going to um, uh, start with me. And then we're going to be on part two on Sunday. If you have not done the Disney yet, um, I'm doing it for new agents and ones that haven't started it yet. So again, congratulations, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. Hope to see you on my voucher training tomorrow or seven C's or Aruba. And let's just keep learning, post that certificate, share some of those itineraries. You know, who wants to see a koala bear? Who wants to watch the dolphins? How about the turtles? You know, all those are available. So very exciting. So make sure you share it. Just get on your social media and, you know, let people know, look, you know, I'm now a specialist on Australia. Lots of exciting places to see. Okay. So hey, again, uh-huh. Do you know if Charles Lee has power hour today? Um, I let me see, let me look really quick. Do, 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 power hour. You know, sometimes it's not the first. Let's see. <laughs> power hour. Here it is. First week of August to put me back to okay. So yeah, it shows that he does have it. It's on 925-640. Okay. 6165. If you guys want to get on there, it's on right now. 925 Zoom, 640 Zoom. Oops, 640 6165. It shows that he should have it today. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, have an amazing, amazing day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Love tomorrow. Tomorrow is the uh, voucher training. If you want to learn about the voucher training. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank Have you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.
Stay safe, everyone. You too. Thank you.